In this workshop, we're going to take a look at cylinder band height and how that affects your cylinder trim. The cylinder I'm using has the same pressure throughout the whole test. All I'm doing is moving the band higher or lower on the cylinder. And what we've done here is added a tape measure. My cylinder to start the test is at 53 centimeters. I've found that the most optimum height for me is 50 centimeters and most other divers around 45 centimeters. For this test, we kept the loop bungee the same tension and also the position of the cylinder band in the same orientation. We just changed the length. The cylinder was trimmed correctly at 53 centimeters using a sliding D-ring, but that position was not changed for the remainder of the test. The next test was done at 60 centimeters so we move seven centimeters lower down the cylinder. This actually created more tension and it pushed the first stage up a little bit further under the arm. I could also feel more tension. You'll see that the loop bungee, band position and band height all work together to actually give you the most optimum cylinder trim. And I'll prove that through this test and others. We're now moving the band to 37 centimeters, which is another five centimeters higher up the cylinder. The position of the sliding D-ring is left fixed for this entire exercise. Of course, you could trim the cylinder, which would help right now, but that's not the point of this exercise. We're trying to establish the most optimum position. 